the fireworks. There won't be any fireworks. And here we go. He's on fire! Alright, so what is good YouTube? I'm Mike from Michael's Jays. Today we're going to be bringing you guys a review on a sneaker that specifically only dropped in certain regions in the world. This one came from the UK. So if you guys are interested in knowing the ins and outs on this sneaker right here, being the Jordan 4 Metallic Red, why don't you guys kick back, relax, and enjoy yourselves while we run through the details on this joint right here. Stay tuned. If you guys are new to Michael's J's, thanks for stopping by and spending your time with me. If you guys see a red button over there, why don't you smash that and make it gray by subscribing to the squad in 2020. And if you see a bell icon up top, why don't you that in the face so you guys never miss a beat when I drop banger videos like these for your head tops. Before we get into the review, I'd like to send a shout out to Michael's J's two newest subscribers to the channel, Mario Martinez and Danny Phantom. You guys are the MVP of today's video. Thanks for subscribing to Michael's J's. And if you guys want a shout out on a future video, make sure I can see your nameplate and I'll give you guys a shout out on the next video. All right guys, so with all that out of the way, let's get up into this review. So let's get into the details of this super fire sneaker right here. And as always, we are going to start from the top down. Jumpman on the tongue here. As you can see, you do have a white leather tongue with a satin-ish type of Jumpman on there. This feels really nice and it's really soft. And if you could see, it does say flight in a gray stitching on the tongue there. Your normal Air Jordan and this tongue has, I wouldn't say it's satin, maybe it could be. It's kind of like the Jordan 7 Tinker Alternate on the inside. Whatever this material is, it's very soft. It's really nice. It's not normal material for a tongue on a Jordan 4. So moving down from the tongue, you do get stock white laces. No other laces came on this sneaker. This is all that you get. And this is pretty much all that you're gonna need because if you do lace swaps on this sneaker here, it's just gonna look wrong in my opinion. Moving down from the laces, you do have your white netting, which is normal for pretty much every single Jordan 4. To the leather quality on your toe box here, you can see it is extremely tumble. Just wait until I push my finger on this. Definitely super soft leather, and that leather is going to wrap all the way around the entire sneaker. We're gonna do the side right now. You do get your hits of metallic on your honeycombs here, coming to some more white netting and another metallic red honeycomb. They are really shiny, so when you're walking in the sun, they're going to reflect. Onto your wing here. These are normally plastic or rubber, very cheap feeling. Well, this gets that high quality leather that's super soft and it's also tumbled. Wrapping around to the side here, you do have your Jumpman in the back a metallic red and that is very shiny as well coming up to the top this is a really soft fully leather heel tab right here that you have like i said this entire sneaker is leather probably except for this i would think that this is synthetic this is probably the only synthetic part on this sneaker coming to the inside of your Jordan 4 here, you do have a red insole with a white Jumpman. Also have that satin-ish sock liner in white. And on the inside, you have a polyurethane insole here. This is actually really nice. These feel really good. And it's a lot better than the cheap insoles that they give you on other shoes in general. All right now, so moving down to the sole of the shoe, you do have it in all white. Pretty much this is a pure money. So if you really look at it that way, it's exactly a pure money but with color so everything on this sneaker is gonna be completely white and that's why I said probably lace swapping 
removing these is not going to be a good idea. Moving on to the inside of the bubble here, you do get it in red metallic. Moving on down to the bottom of the sneaker, it is all white except for your red hit here on the herringbone and the metallic red hit for the Jumpman. So let's talk about the quality on this sneaker real quick. The leather on this shoe is beyond buttery. It is the best feeling and looking Jordan 4 that I have seen in a long time. I love the hits that they gave the inside of the sock liner and on the tongue. That feels really good on foot. It almost feels like you're walking on a cloud. The quality throughout the entire sneaker is A1. I would suggest basically anybody that likes white Jordans or a crispy, nice summer looking shoe to go and get this sneaker right now before they go up in price because out of the four, the green, the orange, the purple, and the metallic red, this is the best colorway out of every single one of them. I'm not sh quite sure if the quality is the same on the other ones. You know, nothing can beat a nice crispy white and red Jordan 4. All right, squad, you guys just made it to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content that we brought you today. If you guys are still interested in picking up this joint right here, make sure you go on to StockX right now and go scoop yourself up this pair because I'm sure they're gonna be going up. I'm Mike from Michael's Jays, and I'm gonna go slap these joints up on my feet and show them to you for the on-feeds coming up right now. Peace.